Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do central tendency. Now the central tendency is basically what you call mean, median and mode. Now you had done this in grade 9. So this is a revision of grade 9 work. Right. Now let us discuss each one. The first one that you have is what you call the mean. Now when we're talking of the mean, we are talking of the average. So what this means is that you would add all the values. So it's the sum of all the values divided by the number of values. And the sign for average is x with a stroke on top. Now it's good to know the sign because as you come to the bigger grades, you're going to see you're going to use your calculator quite often. And then when they ask you what is the mean, you immediately know the sign is what you're looking for. So if I was doing the average or the mean for the following data that's given, what would I be doing? I'd be saying 44 plus 31 plus 45 plus 21, plus 35, plus 34, plus 48, plus 49, plus 32, plus 28, divided by how many values are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you're going to divide it by 10. Now if you press this into your calculator, you're going to get 36 comma 7. Now what you would notice is that I did not put this data in order. It didn't matter that 31 was lower than 44. Neither did it matter that 28 is lower than 48. So when you're doing the average it does not need to be in order. But when you are doing mode or median then the biggest mistakes pupils make is that it is not in order. So you have to make sure that it is in order. Meaning it must be in ascending order. It must go from the lowest to the highest. If your data is not in order, then your mode and your median will be incorrect. How do we sort it out? How do we put it in order? You need to know how to do a tree diagram. Now the tree diagram, you had learned this in grade 6 or grade 7. Now what we're doing is the stem is usually the tens. So if I start let's say 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then we have the leaf which is the units. So we have the stem which is the tens and we have the units which is the leaves. Now if I look at 44 then I'm going to pla place the 4 under the 44. Can you see that? So the 4 is the tens and then this 4 represents the units. 31, 45, 21. So can you see what I'm doing? Every unit is going in line with its 10. 35, 34, 48, 49, 32, 28. Now, first you put them in its group. So you put it in its tens group. Next, you need to put it in order. Now, if you look, 21 and 28 is in order. So I know, okay, that one is fine. I've got 21, then I've got 28. But yeah, can you see you've got 31, then you've got 35, then you've got 34, then you've got 32. This is not in order. To put it in order, you had your 0, your 1, your 2 was in order. It had 1 and 8. But now our 3 was not in order. So we have our 1 first, then you have your 2, so that means 32 is next, then you have your 34, and then you have your 35. Then we look at our 4, 44, 45, 48, 49. That one is in order. 
44, 45, 48, 49. So when I'm rewriting my data, you can rewrite it 21, 28, 31, 32, 34, 35, 44, 45, 48, 49. Now you can rewrite your data if you want to or you can work from your three diagram but you need to make sure that it is in order before you decide you're working on it. Now how do we get the mode? The mode means what is most repeated. Now if you look at this diagram there is nothing that was repeated. So in this case, we don't have a mode. But if our data had something that was repeated, so let's say I have another 44 here, then that means at 44, I would have had two groups and the mode would have been 44. Then, after the mode, so you've got the mean, the, med, uh, the mode, which is most repeated, you got the median. The median is the middle. Now count how much data we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If we had 10, then the middle would actually be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But not the fifth number. Look at where the middle would actually stand. Medians are going to work in two ways. You're going to get your median. And the median is either going to be even or it is going to be odd. Now when the median is odd, then the answer is the round off. Now that sounds silly, but this is what it means. If I had 15 terms, if I divide it by 2, I'm going to end up with 7.5. And, and if you round that off, you're going to get 8. So the 8th term would be your answer. But when you're working with even numbers, that is where it becomes a challenge. You're still going to take the numbers and you're going to divide it by 2. So remember when I'm talking of numbers, I'm not talking of values. I'm talking about the total number. So if you had 16, 16 terms, you're going to divide it by 2, which will equal to 8. But for even, it's not so easy. What it means is you have to take the 8th number and the 9th number, and then you have to divide it by 2. So you have to take the two values, and you have to add them and then divide it by 2. So it's like calculating a midpoint, if you remember in your analytical geometry. So when you're doing median, it's going to go two ways, even or odd. Let us try an even one first. Now if you look here, we have 10 values, okay? But remember, it needs to be in order. So when you do this, your answer is going to be totally wrong. Why? Because it is not in order. This is one of the most common mistakes we do. What do we have to do? Once we place the values in order, as we had placed it here, you can now count and say, okay, there are 10 numbers. So if I say 10 divided by 2, it's going to equal to 5, which means I must take my fifth number plus my sixth number and I must divide it by 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My fifth number and my sixth number and then I'm going to add them and I'm going to divide it by 2. So I'm going to have 69 divided by 2 which is equal to 5. Now, if you don't write it out again, like how I had written it out here, and you decide that I'm going to use my three diagram, then you're going to count one, two, three, four, fifth number, sixth number. Now, what was the fifth number? It was 34. Can you see the tens and the units? 
And what was the sixth number? Tens in units. 35 divided by 2. So you're still going to take the fifth number. You're still going to take the sixth number and you're going to divide it by 2. So when you do the tree diagram, it is not necessary to rewrite it like this. Remember, in the exams, sometimes they give you up to 20, 30 numbers. You can't go and rewrite 20, 30 numbers. So it's better that you learn how to do it with a tree diagram. Now let us take an example of an odd number. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Again, you would notice that the data is not in order. So you have to do the tree diagram. But this value is exactly the same that we have done here. The only difference is we had added one number, which is 21. So if we take our existing tree diagram, but we now add 21 to it. So we're now adding 21. Now you can check 44, we've got it. 31, 45, 21, 35, 34, 48, 49, 32, 28, and our 21. Now if you look at this, what is the mode? What is repeated the most? If you look, 21 is repeated two times. So the mode would be 21. Now let us do the median. Alright, so when we're doing the median, we're going to have 11 over 2, which is 5.5. That tells me that if I round it off, I'm looking at the sixth value. Then I would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Remember, you must look at the data that is in order, not the data that is given to you unless they have given you data that is in order. And the sixth number is 34. So my answer for median is 34. Thank you for watching.